High-risk myeloma makes up about a fourth of uh, all newly diagnosed uh, myeloma. Um, and despite the fact that we have uh, good treatments that have been developed over the past um, 10 to 15 years, um, you know, high risk remains um, an area of unmet need. What we re really mean by high risk is despite our initial therapies, patients have a high risk of the disease coming back within the first two years of diagnosis and, and you know, patients cycle through treatments quickly and will have uh, you know, lower overall survival compared to the other patients. Um, so the data that I highlighted in my talk at the meeting was extrapolated from all the clinical trials uh, that are contemporary that include uh, both triplet and quadruplet induction therapies. Highlighting the fact that you know many of the trials that have been done uh, have included smaller subsets of uh, high-risk patients. So we're really you know trying to make the best use of data we have in trying to come up with a schema to treat the high-risk patients. I also you know want to share the increase in the number of enrichment design clinical trials that we're doing for high-risk patients right now. Um, compared to how things were being done five or six uh, years ago. So all of those things are encouraging, uh, you know, that, that we're trying to do these things uh, to improve the outcomes for high-risk patients.